to 50 years ago. Show that freak to stay away from me. Who the fuck are you, bitch ass nigga? <laughs> Sorry. I know episode two dropped like seven hours ago, at least within the time span right now of me recording this video. Uh, but they they dropped it while I was at work. They they dropped it because last time when they dropped episode one, you know they dropped it around like I want to say maybe like six, like around like six p.m. like or at least my time. So I'm thinking like, okay, I'm guessing they dropping these episodes at night. Even no, I guess it's, it's noon and maybe they did a late. I don't fucking know. Point is episode two of. Uh, the Sonic X Shadow Generations prologue, Dark Beginnings, uh, was uploaded. I loved episode one. I love how the choreography of Shadow vs. Emerald, the fight was. I love how a little bit baited we were when they started that episode. When I thought when they were running, I thought we was already starting off with them running from the motherfuckers who invaded Ark and shit like that. The fucking, the, 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 the voicing, the freaking, um, like, the bro, it, it was, it was just, like, that whole episode, I replayed that episode like so many times, and I'm just thinking like, yo, this is some cinema ass shit. I didn't think they was gonna go all crazy with all this, but nah, this this shit is like more intense than I thought. So we got episode two called Finding the Way, and you already know what the deal is. We finna check this out and um, see what's happening now, cause I think uh, Shadow said he's gonna try to find answers. Cause remember, they did say like these first three episodes that we're going to be getting is pretty much the prologue to the Sonic X Shadow Generations because I do remember them saying uh, this is happening around the same time when like with the whole Time Eater situation for where like Sonic's birthday um, apparently the same thing would happen in Shadow. So this is all happening around the same time but now we're just getting a perspective of like what's going on with Shadow so I think that's also cool so yeah. Make sure it's not too loud, you know what I'm saying? Finding the way. Here we go. Oh, I'm very excited, dog. I just woke up too, so I'm still trying to like move around, you know what I'm saying? Wake up, get my body schmoving and shit. Okay, so yeah, this is. Okay, we're going back to 50 years ago. Show that freak to stay away from me! Who the fuck are you, bitch ass nigga? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna cap. For some reason, I thought that was like Chris. I was gonna say, is that Chris? And I was like, wait, nah. That's 50 years ago. That nigga ain't boring. <laughs> Abe! Why curse him out like that? Shadow? Black Doom? Are you alright? Maria, I'm fine. It's just... The Professor created me using alien DNA. The Black Arms, he called them. The same DNA as this... Larva. This ugly, heartless creature. I may look like a hedgehog, but I'm really no different than this thing. That's not true. You have a big heart. It may be difficult for you to express it, but I know that deep down, you really do care. About me. About everyone. What you do is what defines you. I know you're having a hard time finding answers, but I'm certain you will one day. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for pausing right there. That just, that just, that just, that just hit home for me. I'm not, I'm not even gonna cap. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, it's just, it's just, I, I, you know, when maybe some of you guys can relate, but have some of you been able to like, you just keep contemplating about yourself and it's just like, as life goes on, shit just feels so much harder. And the moment I just saw Maria hug Shadow. And was just saying like what actions that he does defines him and not by you know whatever that just that, that kind of hit home for me i don't know why it just actually that shit kind of really that shit actually really touched me i'm not gonna cap i don't know maybe it's because i've been having thoughts about myself wondering you know who i am so i don't know that right there just also made me feel like wow 
sometimes a person just needs a hug. Like on some like on some real shit. No funny shit. Like sometimes you just need a hug, dog. You just you just need a hug. You just need a hug. Then you'll find even more people you can trust. All right. Damn! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh shit, Omega! And Rouge! Evening, handsome. Didn't expect to see you here. Rouge, what are you doing? Alright, so we just got Team Dark! Just gathering some intel for gun. I convinced Omega to be my backup. What's your story? I need a spacecraft to reach the Ark. Did this nigga just deflect sword attacks with his fist? Bro, what? What's your story? I need a spacecraft to reach yeah? the Ark. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Okay. I have reason to believe the Black Arms have returned. Well, you're out of luck here. This is just a supply depot. <laughs> Please tell me y'all bringing this boss back for Sonic X Shadow Generations. I call dibs. Omega, my nigga. Omega, my nigga. <laughs> that nigga said I got dibs. Like, fuck all that shit. Take it out. the spacecraft i can take you to a ship but in return you're going to have to promise to come to sonic's birthday party oh. i'll take that as a yes now then interested in raiding a gun base ah oh, don't end us don't 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 end it right there man come on you son of a Of course, I'm interested in seeing that, man. I, I, and I feel like that's gonna be episode where we gonna see Omega when we with the, that trailer when he that boy was sliding. That shit. <sighs> All right, I guess we gotta wait till next week to see the final episode of this prologue shit. But yeah, so yeah, but like I said, because they did say that that this Dark Beginnings thing is um, pretty much the prologue to Shadow, the prologue before like what started happening with Shadow Generation. So. You know, watching this is honestly this is cool that they're doing something like this because it's like I guess we get a bit of more story depth lore and understanding of what's going on more with Shadow rather than it just being like, you know, Shadow just going through recent uh, a recent past. You know what I'm saying? Because like okay, like when Sonic Generations came out years ago, you know what I'm saying? It was like you know it was the anniversary of Sonic, Sonic's birthday, and everything like that, and then boom. Um, you know, the idea that Sega came up with was like, yo, let's have a clash between two worlds. We have modern Sonic and we have, you know, classic Sonic. Okay, cool. But with Shadow Generations, they, you know, I guess now with Shadow Generations with, you know, being the year of the shadow, it's like, okay, let's go ahead and focus with Shadow. But instead of like there being like the same thing for Sonic Generations, like, like his birthday, whatever, some shit like that. Let's focus more on more lore depth, more lore detail with Shadow the Hedgehog and figure out what the fuck is going on. Because right now, this is like, I guess, a current timeline. Well, not really a current timeline. I mean, this timeline right here with Shadow Generations is the same as Sonic Generations around that same time, because, you know, Sonic's birthday. So, yeah, but I'm happy to see that we're getting more lore depth with Shadow the Hedgehog to see, like, what the fuck is going on. Um, but it, uh, again, this, this shit is, this shit is dope as hell. Um, but yeah, um, other than that though, this is a really good episode. I, that part with Maria hugging Shadow hit home for me. I ain't gonna cap. Like when I saw that, I was like, it's always good to have somebody there with you to hug you. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes, sometimes you just need a hug, you know? And when I saw that, I was like, I need a hug, but we ain't talking about me right now. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I hope you guys have a good one and y'all take care.